Well, I'm here in uh, Paris on the Champs Elysees and the uh, protest of the Yellow Vest, which started off this morning pretty calmly, is now really picking up steam. There are hundreds of protesters uh, and they're facing police. Uh, tear gas is being thrown. Uh, things are being broken. Uh, and uh, the situation is getting pretty tense. I'll, I'll show you right now. You can see over there in the back. Blocking the access to uh, La Concorde and to the Elysee Palace. That's where Emmanuel Macron is. Uh, as you know, these protesters are really angry at the policies of Emmanuel Macron. So we're going to try to get closer, but uh, the tear gas is very powerful, uh, really stinging the eyes. As you can see, there's a, a lot of smoke. Uh, a lot of these protesters are getting pretty angry. And they're now. Uh, picking up concrete blocks, potentially to throw them on police. See over there, things got quiet a little bit. Uh, there were water cannons about five, uh, five minutes ago. And now things have uh, quieted down here. That's uh, Concorde over there in the background. That's where the uh, demonstrators initially wanted to go, uh, but they weren't allowed, so a lot of them came to the Champs Elysees, even though they're not allowed to be here either. So Carla is asking why they're protesting. Well, basically they're protesting against attacks on fuel. That was the beginning of the uh, mobilization of the Yellow Vests, and now they're mainly protesting against the uh, cost of living and at the policies of Emmanuel Macron. This is a president they're very angry with. They see him as uh, a president of the rich, not uh, representing the working class. Regardez ce qu'il fait au peuple. 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 Le peuple qui a faim. Do you speak English? Le bâtiment. Do you speak English, sir? A little. Can you explain to us why you're here protesting? Le président de notre petit people. Can you take off your thing because we can't hear you? No, no, no. Understand what you say? Don't worry. It's okay. It's safe to breathe. I'm, I don't have a mask, but I, I can breathe. Can you explain to us why you're here? And apparently he's getting scared about something. You see other police are charging the protesters. And the protesters are throwing rocks at them and other items. They keep shouting Macron démission, Macron démission. That means Macron resign. Excusez-moi, monsieur, vous parlez anglais Non, un petit peu, un peu. Can you, tell, can you uh, ask you why you're protesting today I, uh, I protest for you, for my, uh, my, uh, comment dit les droits, gros My rights. My rights. I protest for my rights. And, uh, and uh, look at the... So you can see there's a lot of tear gas raining down on the protesters. Thank you, for, really thank you uh, of my country, merci. And uh, this gentleman... What's your... Why are you protesting against Emmanuel Macron? Je comprends pas, demande au gros. Contre Emmanuel Macron. Au premier pas mal, j'en ai touché. Je sais pas, je peux pas te répondre. Excuse-moi. En français? Eh ben, je proteste contre Macron parce que vous voyez, regardez, on est là où on proteste parce qu'on en a marre de son, de sa politique gouvernementale. Et, euh, et voilà ce qui nous arrive. On se fait gazer, on se fait euh, prendre des bombes sur la gueule. Et euh, voilà, voilà. Merci notre président. Bravo. So we're walking away because <coughs> there's a lot of tear gas. This gentleman just said that he disagrees with Emmanuel Macron and uh, he's angry at the way he sees uh, police treating the protesters. Uh, they accuse the police of uh, being too heavy handed in this demonstration. And uh, as you can see, <coughs> sorry, the tear gas is really powerful. But I'm going to turn back into another mode to show you what's going on here. Marseillaise, that's the national anthem of France. They claim to be representing the real people of France. And that's why they're angry at Emmanuel Macron, perceived as uh, somebody from the elite. On this square here about 10 minutes ago, the situation got really tense. 
A lot of tear gas, a lot of police. As you can see over there, they're blocking the access to the Elysee Palace. That's the residence of Emmanuel Macron. And that's where the protesters initially wanted to uh, go. They wanted to be heard by Emmanuel Macron. And there's a water cannon truck now moving forward towards the protesters. And the police is closing in. So you have on the one hand, the police right there, the water cannon truck, and on the other, the protesters. Here on the Champs Elysees, you can see the uh, Arc de Triomphe over there in the background. And tear gas keeps raining down in various places. You can see here's a here's one. This uh, gentleman just kicked it away. Let me try to talk to him. Excuse me, sir, do you speak English? No, no. No? Not at all? I'm trying to find somebody that speaks English, so I won't have to give you a rough translation. Let's see if this uh, man over here with his mask, or this gentleman right there. Excuse me, do you speak English? Uh, just a few, yes. Yes, can you tell us why you're wearing a yellow vest today, why you're here protesting? In English? <laughs> yes, please. Uh, just for cars, taxis. What? When you have a car, yeah. it's difficult to use it due to tax, to difficulties. Uh, it's impossible in English. En français, alors dites-le en français. Parlez bien fort pour qu'on vous entende bien. En français, ça va, en français. Wait, I'm just gonna show you here the... Uh, the water cannon are raining down and the policeman just told me to step to the side as the police. As you see, they're, they're walking in, they're closing in on the protesters. That's them right behind me. We'll turn back to this mode and show you how following the uh, trucks with the water cannons. You can see various objects being thrown. I think the police probably want to push back the demonstrators to another location. And they're walking pretty fast. A little bit. I can tell you the uh, the air all around me is full of tear gas. <coughs> it's really hard to breathe. <sighs> if you have any questions that you would like me to ask to these protesters, please feel free. I'm not always looking at the uh, messages, but I'm I'm trying to. And, uh, Try to move to a safer location. You can see over there. <clears throat> and Wali just asked me for something, but I don't see him. This lady, I don't know her, just helped me put, putting some water drops in my eyes. You just put it in your eyes, okay? Okay. And don't touch them. Okay. Ah, ah. Thanks a lot.
some, uh, I believe there are reporters that just helped me with some drops from my eyes. I tell you, my eyes are burning pretty intensely. I'm just gonna move a little, little bit. And, uh, So to tell you what's going on here, since this morning, hundreds of Yellow Vest protesters have come to the Champs-Élysées in the heart of Paris. They've been blocked by police. Initially, they wanted to reach La Concorde, that is the square over there at the end, or to reach the Elysée Palace of Emmanuel Macron, but they were blocked by police who asked them to move to the Champ de Mars at the foot of the Eiffel Tower. But many of these protesters refused to go there. Uh, they say that this will they go to the Champ Mars, it will just look like a picnic and they want to be heard on symbolic places like the Champs Elysees, which is probably the most known avenue in all of France. And uh, they've been coming slowly and slowly more and more of them. Now you can see probably several hundreds, if not thousands of these protesters. I don't have the exact numbers. Um, and they've been moving from the Arc de Triomphe over there at the end of the avenue to this place here where they are being blocked by police you can see the water cannons are being activated again and more tear gas gentleman just doesn't want to be interviewed uh, since this morning it's been quite hard to interview people unless this uh, English can you speak English no you're a little yeah can you speak really loudly and tell us why you're protesting here today uh, protest for uh, uh, the tax uh, fuel for, uh, two. so he just uh, said he's uh, protesting uh, against the price uh, of fuel et against everything, vous pouvez parler en français si vous préférez. Ah bah, tu parles français. Ah bah oui. <rire> Mais parlez bien, parlez bien fort, pardon. Non, bah contre les taxes, et moi je fais la cour, tu coûterais pas 820 euros, qu'est-ce que tu veux que je fasse que je fasse par mois Vous avez quoi, pardon 820 euros par mois. Que vous gagnez Ouais, qu'est-ce que tu veux que je fasse Ma fille, j'ai mon appart. Vous travaillez Vous êtes euh, au chômage non, ah, que je, suis, euh, je suis la coturette à cause des filles, depuis 2003, en bon, défendant une femme qui se faisait violer, je me suis fait dé défoncer la gueule. Je comprends pas bien ce que vous dites, excusez-moi. En 2003, je me suis fait défoncer par les flics. Ils sont trompés de bonhomme alors que je défendais une femme qui se faisait violer. Il dit qu'il a été attaqué par la police en 2003. Mais pourquoi est-ce que vous manifestez aujourd'hui Quel est votre but Non, mon but, c'est euh, par rapport... Enfin, ça gaz, enfin... Il se déroule parce que c'est le tir gaz. Ah, oh, merde. Dites-moi. Ah, c'est bizarre quand tu parles en anglais. Donc dis-moi en français, pourquoi tu, euh, pourquoi tu manifestes aujourd'hui Moi, je manifeste pour... Euh, bah, je ne peux pas vivre, je ne peux pas vivre. Moi, je ne peux pas vivre. Euh, les taxes, je ne peux même pas acheter. Je peux pas mettre 100 euros par mois de côté pour acheter une bagnole. Je ne peux pas. De toute façon, on en a besoin de 100 euros. So he says he's protest, protesting against tax that he only makes 800 euros a month and he can't live with that and he's uh, he's tired of it. And this is a feeling that you can hear in a lot of these protesters. All of them are, seem to uh, complain about the cost of living here in France, saying that they can barely make ends meet, and that's why they decided to put these yellow vests. Initially, it started as a protest against fuel, but it really became a protest against the cost of living, against the loss of public services. Um, one of the difficulties with this movement is that it's leaderless. They don't have a proper structure. Even for the organization of this march today, it was done via Facebook and different calls on, the, uh, on social media, but there is no centralized uh, structure. So you, but, Mostly, what you hear from, from them is mostly that they're really angry at Emmanuel Macron and the cost of living here in France and an inequality, which they say is uh, rising with more and more rich people. Uh, and, and then them, who they say they represent the poor people of France. And uh, that's why I want to make a stand here today.
Oh, you can hear what's going on. And uh, a lot of most of the protesters seem to have moved back a little bit away from the troubles. Many of the protesters didn't want to be associated with any violence whatsoever. Uh, and here at the forefront, you clearly have the people who want to make a point. Try to speak with this protester. Bonjour. On peut vous demander pourquoi vous manifestez aujourd'hui? Ah. Bonjour, monsieur. They seem to have calmed down a little bit. Now they're screaming, come on, yellow vests. Let's go. They're moving in against the uh, barricades that have been set up by police and the water cannons are being activated again. Try to see if we can find more people to interview. Can I ask a question? Yes. Can you tell us why you are today? Qu'est-ce que vous entendez exactement Vous n'avez pas l'impression d'être libre aujourd'hui Non. Pourquoi On n'est pas libre, on est oppressé. On est oppressé par le gouvernement et euh, on en a marre. Ça. hurting the population and she wants to be here for the future of her children. Merci madame. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Thank you. 
getting tense again. 